Hi guys, it's Constance again with Charmy Custom Crafts um, on Facebook and here on YouTube. Um, I want to teach you something that uh, I've been noticing that's coming out on um, Cricut cartridges. And don't get me wrong, I love my Cricut, but sometimes I don't like to get my Cricut out just to do something quick and easy. Um, so, <clears throat> I actually learned how to do these when I was a kid and I'm not sure if you guys know how to make them. Um, but these are pinwheels super fun and I, I made this in like two minutes if that but I and this was a scrap piece of paper from the party I've been working on which um, I have a couple more videos on that and I'm done with the, the party um, and I do have a pictorial on my Facebook page on um, a special pinata I did um, but I'm gonna make teach you how to make this super simple and you can use them for decorations and then I'll show you how to do it a different way so what you need is just a perfectly square piece of paper and I thought this was kind of fun and we're gonna use it so what you do it's 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 easy let me grab my scoreboard if I can find it real quick oh my goodness I don't know where my scoreboard is oh well that's okay we could do this without it that's all right. So you're just gonna fold it in the end in the corner. You don't have to use your bone folder, just use your finger. And you're gonna do it the opposite way. And these are fun for parties, even if it's just for decorations. And it doesn't matter how old you are, and if it's a boy or a girl, everybody likes them. So now you've got your perfectly folded down the sides from corner to corner. Now you're going to take your scissors and you're going to go right in to almost the exact middle and you're going to stop about a half an inch in. And you're going to do the same thing all the way around. You guys wonder I have a very creative mother and I learned a lot of my trading and, and being creative from her but my dad was also very creative he was very artistic and when I was a kid I used to have pictures actually in museums that surpassed um, school age I'm not trying to toot my horn I just want you guys because I have a lot of people that says I'm just tooting my own horn and saying oh yeah yeah you could do this well I just want to show you that I can so I want you to see that you're just going to take one corner and fold it in to it if you can see that and it's not it's gonna look funny until you get it and you'll see what I'm talking about so you're gonna turn it in just a little bit but I'm gonna use my glue dots I personally love my little glue dots and I always know I don't want to use the small small ones I like my bigger ones they hold better I actually was looking at getting a glue stamper and I changed my mind on it I thought you know Especially when I found out how much more the glue dots were. And then you're just going to push it in. And we're going to go around and we're going to do it again. This comes out so cute. Imagine doing little birthday parties with this. Even if it's just for decorations. And you can make your own paper. So fun. I know a lot of my followers have small children and I wanted to show even the small kids because we're starting to get some smaller children who, who are enjoying their um, participating in my uh, weekend challenges and I announced my weekend challenges on Fridays see how the, the pinwheels taking shape normally it's on Fridays. sometimes I announce it earlier because it's giving you extra time because either a holiday or because um, maybe it's a little bit more of a challenge depending on the, the how detailed it could be uh, it's not all about paper with me I actually tell you to think outside the box um, because I never generally always do everything in one type of material so there you go look at there you got your pen we all look how cute I love it I love it and I just decided I, I just I've been in love with these flowers that I've got and I've been working on with um, at the party and I've been waiting to use these black ones. I've been trying to get them and I finally got them. So let me put a couple blue dots here on these black ones. 
I want to make sure it stays on because I'm going to decorate my, my little nook here where my desk is. Okay, so I'm going to put that in the middle. I know, silly. Now, <clears throat> if you actually want this to actually spin for the children, you're going to have to use like um, sewing, sewing pins. Um, I think you know what I'm talking about where you pin um, something together. And you'll use those, like if you're trying to get it measured right and you, you're going to sew and a pattern together, you're going to use pens. So I want to put this one in the middle. I'm just going to decorate my little nook here. And then I have a few um, gems left from the party. Not a lot. And I'm just going to stick it in the middle. But you would take that pen and put it in there. And you can, instead of using uh, wood dowel rods, you can actually use popsicle sticks to put the little pins in. But again, I'd be very careful with that, especially depending on the age. But you can personally make them. But I, I just think they're cuter, you know, for design-wise for a party or for a room. And you can, oh, look how cute this would be for a bedroom. I mean, look, it's zebra print and blue. So, and it's cute. I like it. So, this is what I did with two spare pieces. Look how cute. I'm happy with them. Anyway, um, I will see you over on my Facebook page. I do not blog. I, I It's just too much, too much for people to try to remember this and this and this and this and this and this and this. It's simple. I'm on Facebook. <clears throat> I, I'm right now in the transition of changing from the business page to a people person page because I was and not and not able to do some of the options that I really wanted and I'd been thinking about it for about two months um, and I finally just decided to do it when I started having issues um, so I flipped over so it's more private and keeps everything that I do exclusive for my followers for my followers um, so if you're following me <clears throat> on YouTube and you want to come on over I would love to have you um, we are just at almost, we're getting back up there with our numbers, and I, I transferred everything about a week ago, and our numbers are almost exactly where they were before um, uh, I transferred. So, and we've got at least 50 new people, and the people that were are slowly transferring back over. So, I mean, we're going to hit that 200 mark easy. So, if you want to get into my race to 200, um, go ahead and get on over. You get an entry into to win a prize package. Um, and then if you don't, if you, you're seeing this later, I do have a race to 300 and a race to 500. I do not do anything on, on, on YouTube because it's too hard for me to keep track of it. It's not easy. Um, and it's very complicated, especially when you can, you can subscribe and, and be anonymous. So it's too hard to do that. That's the reason why I do it on my Facebook page. But just come see me. It's, uh, you'll know it's me by not with the one with the picture of me because I'm shutting that one down please do not hit like on that page because I am transferring everything over and it will be shut down but look for the pit um, the when you're looking it up it says charming custom crafts you may have to find it under charming custom um, it, it'll it'll have a little blue daisy on the left side where it says tips and tricks but come on over and see me thanks bye